Welcome to the first annual, just kidding, inaugural uh, tournament challenge, Laces Bracketology, brought to you live by Butler Community College. Laces has filled out his bracket and given it to me. Uh, we will be going through them right now, so stay tuned. We'll start up here in the East Region, if Laces would move his head. We'll start with Villanova, the number one overall seed in the tournament. He's going to pick Nova over Wisconsin. Not enough Nigel Hayes in that one. So we'll go Nova. Moving down the bracket here, Virginia and Florida. Now, don't forget the 5-12 matchup, UNC Wilmington. Very good chance to knock off the slowest paced team in the nation. 351 out of 351 in Kempom and Virginia. Laces didn't see that upset happening, though. Virginia moves on. Florida, Virginia, who you got? Virginia it is. We're moving on with the slowest paced team in the nation. Too good a defense. London Parentes, too good. Moving down the bracket here, SMU and Baylor. Who you like, Shimmy Ojale or Jonathan Motley? He's going with Motley. Baylor is moving on past the sixth seed from Southern Methodist. Moving on down the bracket here. Marquette and Duke. We got Marquette's coach, Steve Wojcikowski. I think I pronounced that right. An NBC alum. He played here in 92. Don't quote me on that, but he has played in the NBC World Series. He is also a coach, a former coach at Duke under Coach K, who has three former coaches in this tournament, the most in the tournament. No question here, Duke's a hot team. We're taking Duke. All right, we'll move down to the West region here, where Gonzaga takes on Vanderbilt, you like Vanderbilt, the 15 lost team out of the SEC. Very controversial getting the ninth seed, but they don't give themselves any favors going against Gonzaga in the second round. Gonzaga's taking this one and moving on to the Sweet 16. Moving down the lineup here, Notre Dame and West Virginia. Who do you like? Bobsy Colson and Notre Dame. I like it too. I like Notre Dame. They can shoot the three, and we'll put that there. Indeed, baby. They'll shoot the three. They got great guard play in the backcourt. And uh, they're, they're, they're going to be too much for West Virginia, a.k.a. Press Virginia. Moving on down the bracket, Maryland, Florida State. Who do you like? Not enough mellow tremble, in my opinion. Yeah, good, good answer, Laces. Not enough mellow tremble. FSU taking this one. Jonathan Isaac, an absolute pro. VCU in Arizona. VCU, the minor upset in the 10-7 match with St. Mary's in the first round. Laces, I like the pick. They D it up like havoc. But I'm going with Arizona in the second round. They're moving on to the Sweet 16 facing Arizona. Moving on to the Midwest regions. Laces, who do you like in the KU-Miami matchup? You like KU? They're going to be too much. They're going to be too much for Jim Laranaga's squad down there in Miami. Miami is going to be tough pressed to get by Michigan State and Miles Bridges, who is a pro. Moving on down the lineup here, Iowa State and Purdue. You like, you like Iowa State here? Okay, Deontay Burton and Iowa State. Watch out. That's a huge rematch. As you remember, a little Hilton Magic and Lawrence earlier this year. Iowa State took them down, gave them their first loss and only loss at home this year. No big deal, he says. Now moving on down, Rhode Island. The upset over Creighton, however, it's not a big upset. Creighton's without their best player, Maurice Watson. Marcus Foster isn't going to be able to do that much. And Douglas McBuckets is not walking through that door. He's in the pros. He likes Rhode Island. I like Oregon. We're taking Oregon here. Too good. Too good. Even without Boucher, I'm taking Oregon. Now, this is an intriguing matchup. The 7-10 in the Midwest region. Michigan and Oklahoma State. You like Oklahoma State. Why? Jawan Evans, baby. Yep, guard play dictates everything. I like Derek Walton, too. Jawan Evans is going to be too much. He's playing with a chip on his shoulder. OSU plays Louisville in the round of 32. Louisville is going to be too long for their shooters. Phil Forte is going to be hard-pressed to make a lot of threes, which is what needs to happen for them to move on the Sweet 16. I don't see it happening. I like Louisville. Moving down to the South region here, we got North Carolina playing Seton Hall. You like Seton Hall getting past Arkansas? Wow, easy money. Right there, UNC, I think the best team in the tournament, most complete, 
and they are playing for something that obviously runner up last year. They're they're too much for Seton Hall right now. Moving on down, Middle Tennessee plays Butler. The 12-5 matchup there, he called it. It's the most common 12-5 upset, if you want to call it that, that people are picking. Butler's getting by Middle Tennessee, though. Great run for them. Round of 32 is what they're going to have to settle for. Butler moves on, play North Carolina in the Sweet 16. Moving on down, look out, an 11-6 play-in. KSU or Wake Forest, either one gets by Cincinnati. That's a bold choice, Laces. That's very bold. KSU plays UCLA. Really no question there. UCLA, the most talented team in the tournament. UCLA is getting by that one. No problem. Now, the 10-7 that everyone in Wichita is talking about. Man, that's a tough one. We're taking WSU. We don't want to overlook them, but we're taking WSU. They're hot. Landry Shamit, Connor Frankett, best shooters in America. We're getting by. They're playing Kentucky. No, 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 no. No Northern Kentucky, just Kentucky. Now, the revenge game of 2014. Who do you like? He likes Kentucky. <laughs> no upset there. Unfortunately, we got to go Kentucky. They're hot. They got pros at every position. Deer and Fox is too quick. Malik Bunk is something no one's ever seen before. Bam out of bio, too big, too strong. Kentucky plays UCLA in the Sweet 16.